Ooh, that's gonna make me poop my pants. Okay. 2020. Okay, I just wanted to add some shock value right off of the bat. Anyways, 2020 was almost four years ago now. And while there's a lot to say about that year that could be split into multiple videos, I just felt the need to tackle at least a sliver of it today. But first of all, hi, what's up, how are we today? I'm Mevi, and I feel a very strong connection to the events of 2020, specifically on TikTok. Picture your me during your freshman year of high school. For reference, this is me during my freshman year of high school. Her and all of her pale glory. A lot really has not changed. Anyway, Friday, March 13 hits, and all of a sudden, your world is flipped upside down. A little thing called COVID happens, and then you're isolated from all of your friends, and just generally, it's a traumatic time for everyone. During this time, Gen Z took to TikTok, and... We did stuff. To me, this is where TikTok really got its start and honestly was in its prime because we were so bored. We were literally doing anything to entertain ourselves or consume content. And we were consuming a lot of content. <laughs> what I find funny is that a lot of this stuff would not fly today because 2020 was just so free of cringe. It was just that we wanted to make connections with anyone. So we were ourselves and completely vulnerable online and did wild stuff in order to form those connections. So 2020 to 2021 is a very unique time period for many different reasons. But as someone who went through the majority of high school, watching the descent and recovery from this madness, this just era and culture of time holds a very special place in my heart. So in light of it being four years since this all started, let's take a scroll through memory lane. Get it? Cause I'm like scrolling through TikTok. I thought of that on the spot. I think that's really funny. Anyway, let's just scroll through a 2020 TikTok page and take a look back on some of its most iconic moments, scary concerning. So I know that this topic is far too large to be handled in one simple video. So if the video does well and you guys like it and stuff, I'll probably dive deeper into this sinkhole of niches. So the first thing I would like to address is strawberries. Strawberries. Why did we like strawberries so much? We were isolated from everyone and what we chose to admire were the simple berries of our land. Maybe it's because we couldn't pick strawberries, but we loved them. One iconic part of this strawberry movement is the strawberry dress. This dress was designed by Larika Matoshi. If I'm saying that wrong, I'm so sorry. I'm literally so sorry. I cannot say words. It was like $500 and it was the sh Everyone who got this dress just looked so happy. Like, look at them. Like she's li Yes, yes, yes! yes! If I got this dress, I wish I could be happy as they were. All right, bud, welcome to the collection. On the shelf you go. <laughs> I'm in severe credit card debt. Like I said, this dress is $500, which during COVID that was a lot of money. A lot of money, especially, especially to me who made no money at the time. And I'm not saying that's like outrageous because it is an eco-conscious dress, but it is pretty expensive. But everybody was getting their hands on this dress no matter what. They did not care if we had to wear it. It was strawberries, okay? We couldn't pick the strawberries. We had to wear the strawberries. I personally never got the strawberry dress, unfortunately. I would still really like one if I just... I could get it. Imagine how happy I could look. But also part of me is torn because would I wear it? That is an iconic statement piece of 2020. Would I want to represent that? No, no I wouldn't. But also I would slay so hard. Also, I would frolic in a field so prettily in that dress. Just imagine me frolicking in a field so prettily in that dress. <laughs> uh, this person was really, really excited about this dress. One day you will be mine. <laughs> now I could say, oh my God, why are they acting like that? But like, can we pretend that I literally was not just doing that? So one day you will be mine. <laughs> Sometimes I think I might be a millennial at my core and that really scares me. I love it when you look my way. Look at you, strawberry blonde, fields rolling on. I love it when you call my name. Can you hear the bumblebee so watching your arm? I love it when you see. How does it feel to live my dream? The captions literally frolic in the field to your non-existent lover. Me, me, literally me, Liter literally me. 
But I don't know if you heard that song or not, but it's Strawberry Blonde by Mitski. 2020 this song up. We love this song. We blasted this in the club. We were doing the frat flick to it. We were frat flicking to Strawberry Blonde by Mitski. We love strawberries so much that we did something to this song that is honestly a sin against God. I mentioned we like strawberry everything. Design, patterns, everything about strawberries. We love them. We put them on cows too. And we made a song. Look at you, strawberry cow. You make me go out. I love it when you mew my name. Can't you hear the bumblebees swarm? Watching your horn. I love it when you look. My way. way. Why did we do that to Mitski? Why did we do that to her? Strawberry Blonde is a beautiful song. That is the perfect song for frolicking in a field in the strawberry dress. Why did we bring cows into it? And why did we corrupt the song? I don't know. But Strawberry Cows became the new in. And a famous TikToker by the name of Benji Kroll. We all know who he is. He was an iconic part of this movement. Look at you, Strawberry Cow. You make me go well. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, I just really- <laughs> I'm not making fun of Benji, by the way. He recognizes the 2020 cringe. We all do. I think we collectively recognize that 2020 was a cringe period of time. We can look back on it and make fun of it because we were all in a collective state of cringe. We're not targeting anyone. We're targeting ourselves here. I enjoyed this. I ate it up. Yeah, so I'm not necessarily making fun of it, but I am. But not in a mean way, because girl, well, we, we are, are all doing, doing it. it. I think the most iconic part of this movement, it wasn't in 2020, it was in 2021, but this guy took the stage. He really took Strawberry Cow to a new level. And you know what? I love him for it. Look at you, Strawberry Cow. You make me go well. I love it when you move my name. It just, it just kind of keeps going. Horn. It's just, I love it when you yep. look my way. Yep. It's just slow motion him frolicking as a strawberry cow. And I love it. Was iconic. Was scary. I found this also, which is my personal favorite interpretation of the strawberry cow frolicking. Look at you, strawberry cow. <laughs> you make me go out. I love it when you move. He's like flying. He's flying. <laughs> I just think that video is so funny and I applaud the person who made that. I really, I really enjoyed that. And when we weren't infatuating ourselves with the ideas of strawberry cows, we were playing a lot of subway surfers. When I was in eighth grade, I used to go to it all boys school. By the way, I'm a girl and I was the only girl. The boys there would call me a dishwasher and told me to go make them a sandwich. Okay, so this is I a decided lot. I don't remember saving that one. That's a lot of information, girl. Um, <laughs> okay, girl. Okay, I see you. So we watched these subway surfers and we had story times or the same songs over and over and over again. I climbed out of my head and watched myself implode. A thought without a body ought to be the shot to take a load off. My brain is poisoned and I'm searching for the antidote. But every time I find it, my defense is screaming, oh, no, you don't. Whoa. That sound was used a lot. There was also the Shane Dawson sound. Oh, oh. Ba, 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 ba. Roll, 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 roll up to the party in my crazy pink wig. But I can't get through the door because my booty's so big. I think, I think that's it. I was just guessing because the sound got taken off of the video. But I hope you enjoyed that. I don't know if you realized about that specific video. That was really saturated, wasn't it? So I believe that Subway Surfers is where we started alt slash deep TikTok. You think deep TikTok, like deep feelings, deep emotions? No. Deep TikTok meant you were mentally ill. <laughs> Deep TikTok was a scary place to be on. I'll show you a little example if I can find it here. If you're seeing this, you have been chosen. Welcome to Deep TikTok. Interact with this video to stay. Now you've been chosen. So I feel like we can go into deep TikTok now. Essentially, Gen Z's humor got so numb. We consumed so much content that the only thing we found funny was deep fried videos with highly disturbing content in them. <laughs> there was like a split between straight and deep TikTok. Basically, like straight was like the hype house dances and shit like that. I don't really know. I was never on it. And deep TikTok was stuff I, I wish I hadn't seen, to be honest. Stuff that probably was not great for anyone's mental health. But you know, at the time, at the time that hit. But when I was like a sophomore in high school and we were getting back into school and like talking to people actually again, I found it as a little bit of a flex. 
to say I was on deep TikTok, people would like be doing TikTok dances and I'd be like, uh, I don't know TikTok dances. I'm not on straight TikTok. I'm not on normal TikTok. I'm different. And you know what? People thought I was f***ing weird, probably. People probably thought I was weird for liking this. Are you, are you coming to the tree? They strung up a man. They say who murdered Yes, yeah, girl. Probably. And it's the fact that that sh had me cackling on the floor. I thought it was so funny. It was like... <laughs> And I thought having that grace my for you page was just the biggest flex ever. I was cool. Watching this. Peppa, I don't want to die. It's too late, George. His presence is already here. Oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> Tears. Tears in my eyes. Hello? I scrolled through the deep TikTok hashtag and just favorited without really looking too hard at them because I kind of wanted to have a little bit of shock value. That was a little frightening. That gave me fright. Okay. Is there an English teacher .com? Yeah. Ew. Okay. Three, two, one, sing. La 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 la. Hello, students. Today I'm going to teach you another sentence in English. First, let's read. Can I go to the washroom, please? We're gonna have to stop. That was a lot of stimulation. I don't even know what I have to say about that. Honestly, that song goes hard. Miss Karen English Teacher .com, yeah, has started friendships with people. Like my best friend in high school, that's how we bonded. Over Miss Karen English Teacher .com, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I specifically remember favoriting this video. Cause again, these were pieces of art right here. Why do I get the feeling I'm not the first girl you brought here? You think I bring all my random hookups to my secret spot? I don't know what you do with your random hookups. Why do I get the feeling I'm not the first girl you brought here? It's just so sweet. That was my favorite ship in the Barbie cinematic universe. They really needed to expand more on it, honestly. What is- oh, I know what that is. I know what that is. I don't- okay. Um, yeah, it got to the point where it was scary. That's scary. Like, like this? Baby, there's a shooting star. That one's for me. The person who sent you this ate six kids. You're next. So creepy. I'm not hating on this because I was a part of this. I thought it was hilarious. I'm just gonna point out that it's going to be scary if Gen Z ever has to be isolated again with access to social media. We've already gone a little off the rails once. And now that we're even older, I just don't want to see it happen again. Yeah, the way I would describe deep TikTok is have you ever been overstimulated? We're gonna take that times 10 a bit of it, and then you get this. What? I just, I just, I just, I just, yeah. Myself implode a thought without a body ought to be the shot to take a load off my brain. Poison and until you, you. Okay, girl. My defense is screaming, no, you don't. Well, hey. hey. I didn't like that. I did not like that at all. Ew. <laughs> and then it got so deep that we loved certain celebrities. We loved a lot. One of them being Jason Erlez. I think it's Erlez. Erlez? I don't know. Jason Talk. And if you weren't on Jason Talk, you were weird. Okay. Weirder alert. Weirdo alert. Jason Erlez is the brother from Hannah Montana, if you didn't know. I have come for your children. Please, no. Please, yes. One will be enough. No, 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 no. Where is Joe? What? <laughs> and you know, if that isn't comedic genius, I don't know what is. My favorite. <laughs> there were so many good Jason ones. I still quote Aiden Gallagher singing that at least once a week. I think that is genuinely the funniest content. But putting Jason's face on it makes it even better. <laughs> a man of many talents he is. Why don't we just put I like looking back on these videos because I specifically remember watching them four years ago and adding them to my favorites being like, yeah, this is funny. And it is. There are certain times when I'm scrolling through TikTok at like 2 a.m. and all of a sudden my TikTok algorithm just like switches and it's like back to 20, 20, 21. And I'm like laughing my little booty off, laughing my silly little off. It is, oh, it's, it's good, but only when your brain is numb. Oh, this one really scared me. This one was scary and I didn't like it. Uh, what this if I'm the monster? 
Ew, I can't sleep. I cannot sleep after scrolling through so many of these deep, deep TikToks. I've just seen a lot of things, okay? I didn't put all of them in the video because I don't want to watch them again. <laughs> and I think deep TikTok, honestly, to me, during this time was the most memorable, iconic part of it. I experienced a lot on there and I don't really remember it that well, but it's there and this is the proof. I would like to end this video by giving you guys just a glance of what I wanted to be when I was this age. This video I think is literally the definition of this era. It was a bad idea calling you up. Such a bad idea. The digital camera, the photo wall, the LED lights, the fish cam, the hairstyle, literally everything about this video screams 2020. And yet it's still really cool and iconic to me. So um, I just wanted to commend the person who made that video. I think you're awesome and cool. And I just wish I was cool during this time. I had so much free time and I literally did nothing with it except cut 12 inches on my hair. God, I wish it was cool. <laughs> Don't talk to me. Anyways, I know that this was like a really deep topic to dive into and there's so much that I only really just scratched the surface. There's anime talk, the hype house, the so, so, so many TikTok POVs. Again, if you guys show that you really like this video, if it gets views and stuff, then I will do deeper dives into deeper stuff of TikTok <laughs> because they are literally an iconic part of my life. I remember this like it was yesterday and it was four years ago. And I'm an adult now. I just don't want to think about that. I just don't want to, I just don't want to think about that. Anyways, that being said, I hope you guys liked this video. Maybe you let out a snort or a chuckle during it, or maybe it blasted you to the past and brought up some memories of TikTok that you'd really, really rather, rather forget. forget. And if you guys really enjoyed this video, maybe you can hit a little like, a little subscribe, you type a little comment, whatever your heart desires, baby. You, oh my God, I hated that. I actually hated that. I'm so sorry I did that to you. Anyways, if you want to do that, you can. Okay, love you, bye. <laughs> love, 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 love. Like literally tell me that isn't the funniest thing ever. Like I just. <laughs>